the farm families of Cabot Cooperative are happy to be stuck in Vermont. Yeah, yeah. One, one. One, two. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Saulberger. We're here in the basement of Seven Days in Burlington, Vermont, and we're talking to Jared Artaud of the Vacant Lots. The Vacant Lots just toured with Sonic Boom and signed with Brooklyn's indie label Mexican Summer. Their 7-inch just got released and sold out in the span of six weeks. They were just playing at South by Southwest and next for them is Austin Psych Fest. Good evening, we're the Vacant Lots. Join me in this void or abyss. Put the listener into a trance but wake them up. The way you can fill a room with sound with just two people. Well, I started the Vacant Lots uh, about two and a half years ago. You know, I left school with the pursuit of forming a rock and roll band as cliche as that may sound. I mean, that was my, my aim and my ambition. When I was 17, 16, I was reading William Blake and Rambeau. I found it really difficult to relate to people growing up and like poetry, literature, and, and rock and roll and a certain, certain music bridged that gap for me of, of being like utterly alone. I certainly do believe that, you know, art is a struggle and so is life. You can't escape it. I certainly don't think you can achieve anything by remaining in a crowd. The normal way, I think, is the easy way, the easy route, the difficult road, is going through the unknown. And that's why I feel like my pursuit is, and a lot of artists that inspired me were going through that realm, going through that abyss, that sense of darkness, and not really knowing, uh, are you gonna come out of it? There's a sense of darkness and glimpses of light. <laughs> electricity or something that you know you hit a certain circuit and boom you dial in with or without drugs to what is going on around you you know creating something or having visuals or projections or songs that, that leave a lot of things open you know to have like a universal mind running through it so anyone can relate to it and interpret it in their own life we're trying to get out a lot of sounds in my head it seems a bit like a thread that you could trace through different eras in time. You could trace it back to the Velvet Underground, you could trace it back to Skip James and Helen Wolf or T-Rex even. You like the visuals that are behind us, our clippings, our, our, uh, our fragments of many different things being put together. I mean, this is art to me too, you know? I like to play around with it as if it was like a stage or a theater. You know, how would you act out this sort of stuff? I mean, life and all that shit is so boring. You know, I feel like this is a time where you can actually play and craft it and change it. Thanks so much, we got one more. There are certain people that go to shows that want to be, you know, that experience that sense of revelation. That could be compared to a drug, that could be compared to love or death. Let's turn the lights off, run a projector. Now we're all here together to do this. We'll make the music and provide the soundtrack for you to drift off. You know, of the many things that I you know, could strive towards, one of those would just be to inspire or influence another person in a similar way that the music and literature inspired in me. I mean, it changed my life. <laughs> Vacant lots, not so vacant after.
after all. We'll get stuck around with you again real soon. <laughs> yeah. That's good, that's good. I saw that too. I know, God, I was like, you missed damn the it. Good, that was the good stuff right there. I know, that always happens. The second you, you got... turn the camera off, that's why you say all you're this fired. stuff. You're fired. The camera's off. Uh -uh. Wait a minute, you're not paying me. <laughs>